one team can bring life to a city or fan base in one season is special. But the Eastern Washington Eagles keep bringing that special feeling to Cheney and Spokane as the third winningest team in the football championship subdivision since 2010. We've talked all season long about how being left out of the playoffs last year left a giant chip on their shoulder this year. That chip serving them right today against Maine in the FCS semifinals at Roos Field where the offense and defense was dialed in. Josh Lewis reads quarterback Chris Ferguson early. Second drive of the game, he takes it 21 yards. That set up a touchdown by Andrew Boston. Still first quarter, Eric Barrier off one foot, launches it to Jace Gilder. Watch him get both feet in right inside the end zone. That's a touchdown in the NFL, too. Eags up 14. A symbol Webster touchdown put them up 21-0, and Barrier finds him again. Those two on the same wavelength all night. 28-0 lead at halftime, but Maine scored 19 points in the third quarter. This was one of two TDs, a 47-yard catch and run by Andre Miller. Uh, they would get down by 16 points because of this guy, Barrier, using his legs to get away, hurls this to a wide open Simba Webster. 58 yard play into the end zone, four touchdowns for him tonight. Let's go for two. Hand off to Sam McPherson, dodges a tackle, hits Jace Gilder in the end zone. He's seven of seven passing this year. Elite running back or elite quarterback? Not sure. We'll discuss later. Fourth quarter, Eags up 24. Chris Ojo brought the pressure. Lewis, Josh Lewis, helps bring home Eastern's first semifinal win since their 2010 national championship. Barrier ties a single game record with seven passing touchdowns. Eags get 568 yards of total offense on the night, heading back to their second national championship in program history. It's hard for a coach and the team to soak it all in. I'm kind of on cloud 10. If there's a cloud 10 above cloud 9, uh, I, I just I, I can't say enough about this program, about the support we have, uh, the ability to make uh, something out of nothing, uh, and continue to do it over and over and again. The, the kids are just just unflappable. It still haven't hit me yet, really. It just kind of just feel like a regular game to me still. But I think like just once like I'll settle in, just probably like go back home, listen to my my mom gonna call me because she gonna be going crazy. So I think like once I just settle in, that's when it finally hit me. The Eagles have a few weeks before it hits them. They have a uh, very, very tough opponent ahead. The overall number one seed, North Dakota State Bison, 6-0 and when it comes to national championships. But the Eagles have never lost either, 1-0, and looking to make it two. They get a few weeks off until kickoff in Frisco, Texas, 9 a.m. Pacific.